What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Today I will be going over some sample photos and videos of my Canon FD vintage lenses on my Canon M50. Um, a little backstory, I go to dental school and one of my professors gave me all of his lenses that he used to use for his dental photography back in the day. Um, so here I have a 50mm um, 1.8 I have a macro lens with a 2.8 aperture, a 135mm um, also with a 2.8 aperture. These are all manual lenses that I can use with my mirrorless camera because I bought a $13 adapter that I'll link below. Uh, I bought it from Amazon. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it says fo Fotasi? Fo fo I don't know. Whatever. But anyways, it just attaches onto the back of the, um, of the lens, and I can use my, um, my lens caps uh, from my kit lens to cover the back. And I bought the one with a tripod attachment. When I use the bigger lenses, they're a little heavier, so I want the, um, to balance out the weight putting a tripod on this versus on the camera itself. These are pretty heavy lenses. I think they're made of all metal so they don't have that plasticky feel. And what I like about this is the manual focus ring has a nice throw so it takes longer to to turn it uh, so you can get that precise focus and it also stops, has a hard stop. I also like how you can change the aperture um, on the ring itself. Um, since the Canon M50 doesn't have a lot of buttons, it's nice to have, be able to change the setting on the go. But yeah, just a disclaimer, I usually do more video than photography, uh, but I'll be showing samples of both today. This is also my first camera, so I'm still a beginner, but I've been recording a lot of short films using my iPhone, so this is just the next step for me. Um, so enough of that, let's go out and take some pictures and, and video using these lenses. And um, hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so what did you guys think about the, the way these lenses look? Comment below. Uh, as for me, I like the organic look of these lenses. They're not so sharp, which um, it can add to the feel that you're going for, um, along with some nice color grading. Um, but I'm just surprised at how well these lenses have held up in their quality over such a long time. Um, the next thing I want to do is purchase an ND filter for these. That way I can shoot video in, in broad daylight uh, and still be able to keep my aperture uh, wide open. But for now, I'll be practicing my manual focusing skills so I can nail that focus every time. 
So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for uh, more videos using these lenses. See ya.